on how to how to open a cash account all right with thinkorswim but the benefit of this is that you're going to have unlimited day trades so you could uh the biggest thing that holds back a lot of traders is that they're not they're unable to to close out their positions because they're afraid of getting a day trade or or they don't want to open more positions because then um if they want to close this before market close but uh, they'll get they'll de get this day trade and they'll be restricted for 90 days all right so there is a way around it and that's by a cash account so what a cash account is you're pretty much you're allowed to to open as many trades as you want um do uh for how much money you have in your account all right so if you have one thousand dollars in your account you'll be able to open uh how, however many uh, trades you want worth up to one thousand dollars so you're allowed to spend one thousand dollars for the day and close that one thousand dollars for the day and you will not and you won't be restricted from day trading all right so say if i take 10 trades worth a hundred dollars each that'll put me at one thousand and i could close all 10 trades at the end of the day and i i'll be completely fine to trade the next day the only downside to having a cash account is that once you sell the the position so say if i took a trade for 500 bucks and it went to 1000 and i sold it that $1000 won't be available for me to use until the next day all right so let's go ahead and start walking you through how to get to your thinkorswim all right so first thing you want to do is create an account with td ameritrade for td bank all right so you're on the td ameritrade website you're going to click open a new account now once you get here the account the kind of account that you want to open is an individual account all right uh forget about ira uh, rollover all these other stuff all you want for your trading account is an individual account all right so you go ahead and click on that you click open an individual account and here um it'll start getting you started with the application all right, so once you're done completing this application, it will take you about um, a two, two to three days for the, the account to be completely um, verified and, and uh, set up. And then it will take a, another couple of days for your, your money to get deposited into the account. So give it about one week in total for, for your account to be up and running for full options trading. All right, so now let's go through a couple of things here. So, all right, so... All right, so obviously, um, so I'll, I'll use my own name. All right, so say if I'm gonna make a new account, um, pretty much, uh, pretty self-explanatory information over here. Um, put in all your name, whatever. Um, uh, email, blah blah. blah. You guys pretty much get the the picture over here, right? So these are these, this information over here is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, once you're done here, you're going to click, I have read the TD Ameritrade privacy statement. Um, I don't know if it's going to, it's going to let me continue. Uh, it might just fill in some like t random information. You you think it's going to really like uh, ask me to. Call, call Wearplex. I don't think I use that email. Okay. Oh, wait, actually. Yeah, fine. It's fine. Five five five, Euclid Avenue. What? What is this? Oh, just click out. Click out. No, don't click those. Um, oh, Brooklyn whatever. City. I'm just gonna use. <laughs> this is a bad number. Uh, it's a one eight. What? Are, I don't think they're gonna verify. Not until yet. I, until I click uh, complete. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm putting in random information here it's just so we could kind of get through the the um, application. Oh, so let's see. All right, so once you finish completing this uh this set start this part right here, um you're gonna have to click I have read and you can click continue. All right, all right, so it let me go through so that's contact information. Now you put in your date of birth. So say uh, whatever it is, you guys know when you were born. I don't gotta tell you that. Um, I'll say I'll put that. Now obviously you guys have to be 18 or older in order to trade on the stock market. So if you're not over 18, I don't think anybody has that issue here. 
Uh, you'll want to make sure that you put that. All right, U.S. citizen, yes or no? Most, I'm not. I'm pretty sure everybody here is U.S. citizen. Put a random number for social. Yeah. Um, zero five one. Yes, whatever. Yeah. Okay. So my mic is open. All right, it's good. Good enough now. All right, so pretty uh pretty much a self-explanatory information over here employment the the part that i really want to get to that that you guys are going to have some uh issues with is going to be the financial information and the agreements all right so employment status say employed or self-employed unemployed student, yeah i'll just put unemployed right say if i don't have a job and just want to trade how do you plan to use this account um okay so you, don't worry about that uh, futures and all that right now or you just want to start with the basics which is stocks and options all right so continue the financial information all right i'm surprised it's letting me go through all this without putting real information because they're going to verify after at the end yeah. you fill it out okay so this is the part right here that gets everybody kind of tied up so uh everybody's up to this part anybody still uh need me to go back are we good to go? So we're gonna keep going here. So I would say we put our income as uh twenty-five to forty. Uh net worth is say we have a hundred thousand. Random numbers here, right? So obviously you guys are going you guys have to fill this out to all all your information uh correctly. Um because you don't want any issues on uh, on the IRS or tax end of this. All right. So if you don't know your exact liquid net worth or all this stuff. Just just try to find an estimate, all right? It's it's completely fine. Obviously, you don't want to put more either. Then uh, they might ask for verification, all right? So just trying to find a little comfort comfortable range over here and fill in those information, all right? What is the source of your funds? So most people are getting it from their job, so employment rate wages. I was gonna kind of be weird because I told them I'm unemployed. So let's see. I put my savings. And a source of funds for ongoing deposits, um, save savings, all right? Are you or your spouse? So pretty much all these questions right here are, are asking if if anybody you know or, or if, if, like if you're going to get insider trading information. So you're going to click no. Your spouse is, uh, is um, if they're uh, employed by or associated with a broker deal firm. Uh, financial service regulator, securities exchange, or a member of the SEC, right? No. So um, you don't want to put yes for this because then it probably might lock you out. All right. Are you or your, or your spouse, uh, media family, 10% shareholders in a big company? No. Uh, all right. Now, th this part right here, where do you want your cash to be hold held when it's not invested? Uh, you want it to, uh, for me, I, I like, keeping it in a brokerage account, right? Now, if you have more than like a 500,000 in your account, then this one would probably be better because uh, you'll have insurance coverage up to 500,000. Now the brokerage account only has insurance up to 250,000. Um, well, it, it doesn't really make a difference, but I just like keeping on the brokerage account, right? So it's kept right in the TD Ameritrade account. So it's right there available for me when available for me to use whenever I, I need it. All right, um, so next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go click continue. Now here's all your all your reviews over here. Um, and you're gonna click continue again. All right, so now say you guys are done um, with your account, your account is all set up. Now you wanna verify, go to my profile and click general. You wanna verify that your account says uh, cash sweep is TD cash and your margin trading. You want to make sure this doesn't have any margin trading at all, right? If, if this says that you have a margin, if you have standard margin account, uh, that pretty much will give you the same kind of account that you had on Robinhood and you'll be restricted to three day trades per, per a five day period, right? And you also want to have options traded added to your account. And if you don't have it, you're going to click uh, apply for an upgrade. All right, so this should be on none and the options tr trading should be on standard cash. All right, once you have these set like this, you will pretty much have a cash account. Now, when you have your when you have your uh your application on your computer, you'll notice that 
um, you probably have delayed data. This over here won't say real time. Real time, it'll probably say uh, de fifteen minutes delayed, or or it'll just say delayed data. In order to get rid of that delay, you have to sign these exchange agreements right here. All right. So, uh, mine already shows signed. If you haven't signed it, it's going to give you an option to 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 get to those documents and sign them. Um, pretty much when you when you open those pages, you click um, you click on the each agreement, you read them or scroll all the way to the bottom, and then you click agree, and then you should be good for for real time data on your charts.